Welcome to Atish Education. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve practice set 17. We are going to solve in this video the question of our first and second. This is the part 1 of practice set 17. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start our practice set. The first question is, write the measures of the supplements of the angles given below. Here some angles measurements are given and we have to find out their supplementary angles measurement. So let's find it. It's very easy. The first question is 15 degree. So let's start it. Now the given measurement is 15 degree. So let the supplementary angle be x degree. Now we know that the sum of two supplementary angles is 180 degree. So we can write it as our given angles measure is 15 degree. Write it first 15 degree plus x degree is equal to 180 degree. Now turn this 15 degree on the right hand side of equal sign. It is positive here on the left hand side when it turns or when it changes its place it turns into negative so here on the left hand side now we have x degree write the sign is equal to 180 degree minus 15 degree let's subtract it x degree is equal to when we subtract 180 minus 15, we find the subtraction is 165 degree. So this is our answer. This is the supplementary angle for 15 degree. When we add these both angles, 165 plus 15, we find the sum that is 180 degree. Now the second question they ask that is look here 85 degree. Let's find out the supplementary angle for our 85 degree. We are going to take the same procedure here. Let the supplementary angle be x degree. Now the given angles measurement is 85 degree. Write it first 85 degree plus x degree is equal to 180 degree because we know that two supplementary angles have the sum of their measurement is 180 degree. So we can write this as in equation form now let's turn this 85 degree on the right hand side of our equal sign now on the left hand side we have x degree then is equal to sign 180 degree 85 is positive here it becomes negative when it change its place minus 85 now the subtraction here is 180 degree minus 85 degree it is 95 degree this is our supplementary angles measurement for 85 degree 
when we add these two angles we find the sum that is 180 degree now the third question the third question is 120 degree now let the supplementary angle B x degree here the given angle is 120 degree plus x degree is equal to 180 degree Look, it's easy to you now x degree is equal to we are going to change the place of 120 degree 180 degree minus 120 degree here the subtraction is 180 minus 120 it is 60 degree this is our supplementary angles measurement for 120 degree now fourth question the given measurement is 37 degree now you find easy to solve it first of all write the supplementary angles measurement so let the supplementary angle be x degree now write its equation here the given angles measurement plus x degree is equal to our sum that is 180 degree now change the place of 37 degree it is on the left left hand side of equal sign we are going to change it in right hand side now left hand side have x degree is equal to 180 degree minus 37 degree here so x degree is equal to when we subtract 180 minus 37 we find here the sum 10 minus 7 it's a 3 and 7 minus 3 it's a 4 1 minus 0 it's a 1 it is 143 degree this is our solution for fourth question now fifth question the question is 108 degree here we are going to write it as let the supplementary angle be x degree so our equation is now 108 degree plus x degree is equal to 180 degree now let's change the place of 108 degree here we have x degree is equal to 180 degree minus 108 degree so x degree is equal to let's subtract 108 from 180 we find here the subtraction is 180 minus 108 here is 10 10 minus 8 it's a 2 and 7 minus 0 1 minus 1 it's 0 it's a 72 degree this is the solution for our fifth question and the supplementary angle for 108 degree is 72 degree now sixth question the question is here they give the measurement for sixth question is 0 degree let's find out the 
supplementary angle for 0 degree our sixth question 0 degree here now let the supplementary angle of 0 degree B x degree. So our equation is zero degree plus x degree is equal to one eighty degree. Now let's turn the place of zero degree. Here we have x degree is equal to one eighty degree minus zero degree. When we subtract 0 from any number, we got the same number. So, 180 degree minus 0 degree is 180 degree. So, the supplementary angle for 0 degree is 180 degree. Now, 7th question. A degree. Here they gives us variable we have to find out the supplementary angle for this variable so the same procedure here for variable let the supplementary angle be x degree now our equation is a degree plus x degree is equal to 180 degree a degree is our given measurement so we are going to change the place of a degree we are going to turn it on the right hand side of our equal sign so now left hand side we have x degree our sign is equal to 180 degree a is positive here it becomes negative when it changes the place minus a degree so we don't know the figure of number here so our supplementary angle for a degree is 180 degree minus a degree this is our solution for seventh question i hope you will understand this now we are going to look about second question the second question is the measures of some angles are given below use them to make pairs of complementary and supplementary angles in this question we have to make pairs from this given measurements complementary angle spheres and supplementary angle spheres how let's start to make it the second question's answer is first of all we are going to make the pairs of complementary angles here We know that two complementary angles have the sum of their measurement that is 90 degree. So here we require the measurement 90 degree. Let's write it in bracket. Now look at the question. Look here. Measure of angle B have 60 degree and for 90 we need 60 plus 30 that is 90 so we can pair measure of angle B to measure of angle N because measure of angle N have the measurement that is 30 degree so 60 plus 30 it's a 90 it, 
it is a complementary angles pair so right here our first pair measure of angle b and measure of angle n now let's find out our second pair here look here measure of angle y have 90 degree have to find the angle which have the measure 0 degree let's find here here they give 0 degree measure of angle e so we can write as our second pair measure of angle y and measure of angle e here this is the second pair now let's find out the third pair you have to find the pair which have the sum of their measurement which is 90 degree for complementary angles now let's look here angle j have the measure 150 degree so we can't take angle j here here angle D have measure 75 degree and 75 plus 15 it's a 90 so we can write measure of angle D and measure of angle F means angle D and angle F this is our third pair for complementary angle measure of angle T and measure of angle F you can write it as angle B and angle N, angle Y and angle E also instead of measure of angle. Now here angle G have the major 120 degree. It's greater than 90 degree. So we cannot take angle G also. So these three pairs we got here. For complementary angles now we have to find out for supplementary angles we know that supplementary angles have the sum of their measurement that is 180 degree now we have to find such angles which have measurement which have the sum of their measurement 180 degree Let's find it. Look here, angle B have 60 degree. Now let's subtract 60 from 180. We find here 120. So here G have the measurement 120 degree. So the pair, our first pair is angle B and angle G for supplementary angles. First pair angle G and angle B here. Now our second pair is look here N have the measurement 30 degree. Let's subtract 30 from 180. We get the number 150. So here J have 150 degree measurement so our second pair is angle n and angle j angle n and angle j now the third pair here we find only two pairs of for supplementary angles that are angle g and angle b and second pair is angle n and angle j this is the solution for our first and second question. I hope you will understand it. Let's practice it very well. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. See you in next video.